When Germany invaded Poland, September 1, 1939, danger comes from the west, we just went the opposite direction, we went east. Do we leave the rest of the family in, in Radom? In those circumstances, we just felt we, we just had to save ourselves. My name is Anna Steinberger. Twelve years ago, I retired from University of Texas Medical School, where I served on the faculty for about 30 years. I'm a Holocaust survivor, so of course, uh, the mission of the Texas Holocaust and Genocide Commission has always been you know, very close to my heart. I was uh, born in Poland, a place called Radom, which is south of Warsaw. When Germany invaded Poland, September 1, 1939, my uncle, who was a, a country doctor, came, I think on the third or fourth day of the war, with uh, two horses and a buggy, and said, you know, there's no time to pack, you just put on some warm clothes, because September was already pretty cold in Poland, and uh, where are we going? Danger comes from the west. We just went the opposite direction. We went east. Um, did not know anyone in eastern Poland or uh, had no family in eastern Poland, but that was the natural reaction. So that was one of the sort of ethical decisions that we had to make. Do we leave the rest of the family in, in Radom? and uh, try to save our own life because my uncle said eight people is all I can take. In those circumstances, we just felt we, we just had to save ourselves. Uh, life was very, very difficult and uh, I was chronically hungry and my parents tried to share whatever rations they got from the Soviet government. Uh, so that uh, my brother and I, you know, at least would survive. But being constantly hungry, uh, I never missed an opportunity to uh, steal a little bit of food. Where I saw some food and if nobody was watching, I would just take some food. And I knew it was wrong because my parents always taught us that lying and stealing is not the right thing to do. But again, I felt guilty doing it, but I thought, well, if I don't eat, I may die. So again, this ethical, moral dilemma and the circumstances that made me do it. So um, I also remember one time my father and mother came home and my father pulled out a uh, big roll of thread. They were both working in a, in a factory. And my father called my brother and me, sat us down, and he says, I want to I wanna tell you something. I stole this roll of thread from the factory because we can sell it on the black market and maybe get a loaf or two bread for it. It's wrong, it's not, it's wrong to steal. But under these circumstances, I felt justified. And even as a child of 11, I often uh, debated, you know, what is ethical, what is moral? And I realized that it depends on circumstances. What may be ethical and moral under one set of situations may not be so under another.